Mercy is the most nerfed hero in Overwatch. She's gone from having a team-wide resurrect, to being a staple in the 2017 Moth meta, to now being one of the worst support options at least in higher level play. At some point in time, her healing's been nerfed, her damage boost has been nerfed, her pistol's been nerfed, her guardian angel has been nerfed, her resurrect has been nerfed, and you guessed it, her ultimate has been nerfed. The timeline of Mercy begins all the way back in May 2016, the release of Overwatch. Mercy's ultimate back then could allow her to resurrect her entire team, even through walls, at no risk to herself. Obviously, this was incredibly frustrating, because there was zero risk to the Mercy, and a potentially massive reward for her team. It also meant that if you invested 3 or 4 ultimates to win a team fight, that would all be cancelled out with a single button press, which was obviously very annoying. As a result, it's no wonder that Mercy was one of the first heroes in the game to get an actual rework, as on September 19th, 2017, Mercy would be changed forever. Her ultimate was now an ability that would resurrect single players instantly in a 5 meter radius on a 30 second cooldown. She also got a new ultimate, Valkyrie, which lasted 20 seconds back then, and it basically buffed all her normal cooldowns. The big one to take note of though, is that Valkyrie buffed Resurrect, instantly resetting it off cooldown, and shortening the cooldown to 10 seconds. Hypothetically, this meant that Mercy could resurrect 4 times within the span of about 25 seconds, and of course, there's this infamous Musult clip that I'm sure you've all seen before. Again. Oh, there you, you go! Okay. okay, and then you're back oh, again, boy! Thank you! That's Infinite one, yeah. resuscitation! That's another oh, boy. That's another res, yep. another and, kill. Okay, and give me just one second, and we're back again, boys! <laughs> I gotta go. Res. Yeah, uh, just give me uh, two seconds, and... Yeah, hey, welcome back again! <laughs> that is so dumb. This single-handedly made Mercy the most broken hero in the game, and maybe in the game's history, barring Briggs' release. Her pick rate skyrocketed to almost 100% in all ranks, which is fucking insane. I mean, imagine that shit today. The number of resurrections per 10 minutes also skyrocketed, due to players being able to res more frequently, and the lowered cooldown that Valkyrie gave. Because of how crazy Mercy was, just a month later, on the 17th of October 2017, Mercy got her resurrect and her GA nerfed. She could no longer Guardian Angel after she got a res off, which was a pretty needed nerf for her survivability. Also, Valkyrie no longer gave the reduced cooldown of resurrect from 30 seconds down to 10 seconds. Instead, it just gave Mercy a second resurrect charge to make her feel a bit more flexible to play. This is the version of Mercy that hit the inaugural season of Overwatch League for the first month, and it goes without saying, Mercy was still overtuned and still a must pick after this nerf. It pretty much had a negligible impact on resurrect numbers, unless you were in the top 2 ranks, and in pretty much any Overwatch League game at the time, especially if it was on an open map, Mercy was one of the best picks. Fast forward to January 30th 2018, so around about a month after Overwatch League had got started, Mercy got hit with one of the biggest nerf bats of all time, closely resembling to what we have now. Her resurrect finally got a channel time, her Valkyrie duration got reduced by 5 seconds, and it no longer granted an extra res. The speed bonus in Valkyrie was also reduced by 50%. This had a drastic change in Mercy's win rate, especially at the top end of the ranks. Her resurrect per 10 numbers also basically got cut in half. Finally, the Moth meta was no more. She still had her place on maps where dive was just too hard to run, especially before the introduction of Brigitte, but this probably goes down as one of the biggest nerfs in the game's history. For the following months, Brigitte had dominated the mainstream sphere, and became a whole new problem for Blizzard to balance around, and I'll get onto her later. The next nerf given to Mercy was on August 9th 2018, where Mercy's staff got nerfed from 60 healing per second down to 50. Now Mercy's staff does currently do 55 healing per second, so it did get buffed in the future, but even then, this is still a net nerf to where she was half a decade ago. In fact, it almost took two years until May 19th, 2020 for her to get this healing buff. After then, Mercy received no more changes, barring bug fixes, up until the release of Overwatch 2, which saw Mercy have her Guardian Angel completely reworked to what it is now. Whether it's a nerf or a buff to what it was before, I'll leave that up to the Mercy mains. 
The one buff that Mercy did get was towards the end of 2022, where she could holster her pistol slightly quicker, and it had more ammo. I mean, it's such a menial buff, it's almost comedic. Around this time too, Mercy came back into the meta, mainly because hitscans were incredibly oppressive at the time, and I'm talking about Sojourn. She had a critical multiplier damage reduced to 1.5 times, meaning you needed a Mercy to pass that 200 HP breakpoint. In fact, Kaku talked about it here. But Mercy was originally a C tier hero in Season 1, in my opinion, but she has now risen up to A tier, a strong hero. No, it wasn't the pistol ammo buff, or no, it wasn't the weapon swap buff, but rather a direct result of a meta shift. Sojourn had her railgun charge shot nerf, but with a Mercy damage boost pocket, it's still lethal at range. And Sojourn's SMG is stronger now, so the damage boost in that way also has changed to breakpoints. So Mercy has now suddenly become like the third most picked support at the high ranks behind Kiriko and Lucio, where teams are actually dropping the Lucio and going for more of a pick composition with Kiriko Mercy alongside with the Roadhog and Sojourn. So you either wait for the Hogs one shot or the Sojourn's one shot. Mercy did have some following changes thereafter, getting a massive Guardian Angel cooldown nerf, but to compensate, her healing on her staff would be increased for teammates under half HP, but it would be reduced overall. She also got a new passive called Sympathetic Recovery, where she herself got healing based on the healing she would do to teammates. Back then, it was 25% of the healing that Mercy had done, but since Season 9, it's been bumped up to 40%. Overall, these changes didn't really change Mercy's power level, if anything, they made her slightly better, but it made playing as Mercy and against Mercy much more unfun. The cooldown nerf to two and a half seconds made Mercy feel way more clunky to play. And that burst heal change was also annoying, because if you got someone to low HP, they would be even harder to kill. As a result, two months later, the Guardian Angel and healing changes would be reverted, but that's not all they did. She did also catch a slight nerf to her Guardian Angel in terms of its overall control, but it would be reverted down the line. Four months later, in August of last year, Mercy caught yet another nerf, this time to a damage boost, going from 30% to 25. Entering Season 9, Mercy caught yet another nerf, this time to a blast of projectile size, which, in fairness, to this day, it is still pretty big. Look at this. Girl. Since that blast enough though, Mercy's basically been in the same state for half a year. While she did have a moment to shine earlier on in Overwatch 2's lifespan, that wasn't because of her. And when it was because of her back in the Moth meta, people despised her. I will say that even in Pro League, Mercy did have her time to shine, especially on maps like Ilios. But even heroes like Farah, who Mercy has been historically great with, has now been disconnected due to Farah's greater mobility, allowing her to be self-sufficient without a Mercy. It really begs the question, why play Mercy at all? Where is her place in Overwatch? Pharmacy is dead, Moth Meta's dead, there's no breakpoints to exploit, and you don't need that Guardian Angel mobility. If you want to play Mercy on Poke maps like Circle Royale, while she is okay there, Zenbab is just better most of the time. You just don't need the mobility that Mercy has, and Zen makes up for it in pure damage, and Bat makes up for it in every aspect of his kit. If you want to play Mercy in a more mobile composition, Kiriko, Lucio, and Brig are also just better. Playing Mercy Ana means that you've got low peel, and if you're playing mobile DPS, like a Tracer, you might as well play Kiriko Ana instead of Mercy Ana. Brig also provides defensive utility that no other support in the support category still has to this day. Of course, I could have made this entire video about Brick. She's probably been the most broken hero in the game's history since ever, but even after her rework to her current day, she's still a very good hero and actually has a comp that suits her very well. Unlike Mercy, Brick was a hard staple in Pro League for months in the dive meta, and sure, while this isn't because of Brig and more so because of Sombra Tracer, it goes to show that Brig's kit does have purpose. There are many situations in which she can do things that no other support can. Mercy on the other hand feels a bit outdated if I dare say. So what do we do about it, if anything at all? I think if you want to see Mercy being played more, while still having the game be relatively healthy, you need to nerf mobility across the boards. Heroes like Tracer, Genji, Sombra, Venture, and Flex DPS across the board need to be out of meta for Mercy to even make somewhat of a healthy comeback. 
Then maybe you'll see her on maps like Rialto, Route 66, and Esperanza, where there's a ton of high ground and open space, where Guardian Angel actually becomes useful, and Mercy is allowed to off-angle DPS without being afraid to get exploded on by a Winston Lucio Kiriko dive. The tricky part with Mercy is making her strong without being dependent on her teammates. It's why I've never been a big fan of damage boost as an ability, because it makes balancing DPS heroes so much more difficult due to the breakpoints. So it's no wonder that Mercy became meta after it became required to have damage boost to allow Sojourn to one-shot. Maybe the real Giga Chad base solution is to do absolutely nothing at all. Maybe there is nothing we can do to help out Mercy without busting the shit out of the game. And maybe that's okay. Anyways, that's it for the video. As always, let me know your thoughts down below, and until next time.